Hello friends, welcome to Expert Guidance and this is the last video of Edexcel IGCSE Physics Topic 8 which is Astrophysics. This is a very small and sweet topic. You must have covered all the 8 chapters up till now. To remind you, the 8 chapters that you need to cover are forces in motion, electricity, waves, energy resources, solid liquids and gases, magnetism and electromagnetism, radioactivity and particles and astrophysics. And this video is focusing on astrophysics. Now in this topic we'll be looking over motions in the universe, the stellar evolution and cosmology. Now the important units of this are kilogram, meters per second, meters per second squared, newton seconds, newton per kilogram. In motion in the universe we'll be looking over the Milky Way galaxy, what are the components of a solar system, what are the different uh, objects that makes the solar system like planets, comets, asteroid and we'll also look over the relationship between orbital speed, radius and time period. In stellar evolution we'll see how the evolution of star took place, what is the difference between the star which is smaller and the sm star which is greater than the sun. We'll also look over the evolution of stars and the brightness of star as well. And in the end, we look over how the universe evolved with the two important theories, the Big Bang Theory and the uh, the Big Bang Theory and what are the evidences, which is the redshift and CMB, which is cosmic microwave background radiation. Now, as always, I would recommend you to watch this video till the end because in the end, we'll have very important key terms of this topic that we'll go over along with some questions. So let's begin. Now when you see the solar system, we see the sun, eight planets which are revolving around the sun and the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. There are some dwarf planets which also orbit around the sun in their orbits, but they are too dwarf to, call, to be called as an actual planet. Example, Pluto. Then Comet. Comet is a ball of ice and dust orbiting in elliptical orbit around the sun. Then there are asteroids. Asteroids are made up of rocks and metals and are smaller than the planets. And there are meteors, which are the shooting stars, which are dust and debris, which burns when they enter the Earth. So you should know what are the different components of the solar system and what they are exactly. Now, after the solar system, it's very important to understand how the star formed. So the star is formed originally. It's a cloud of gas rock and dust the cloud condensed and pulled to form and concentrate and form a protostar by the gravitational pull so the gravitational pull condensed this cloud of gas rock and dust the particles collide within the cloud and the kinetic energy converted into heat energy which gave them sufficient energy to carry out nuclear fusion and that fusion released massive amount of heat so there was fusion which is releasing heat and light which turned a protostar into a star the star can then attract other rocks and dust and form plants this is how a star is being formed and you should know what is the process of formation of a star now it is very important to know the life cycle of the star. So it starts with the stellar nebula and if there is a normal star, then it becomes a red joint and then it becomes a white dwarf. On the other hand, if there's a star bigger than that of the sun, then it goes into a red super joint and then it explodes to form a supernova and a supernova can then break to form a black hole and a neutron star. Now from the stellar nebula it becomes to a protostar and the star and it starts to do the nuclear fusion. Now as all the hydrogen is used up in for the fusion then the gravitational pull and fusion is no longer balanced and the star explodes. So here, all the elements are used up, no fusion, the star collapses due to gravity and the star heats and turns red, yellow and white. 
Now, if you see in the superjoint, helium and other elements fuse to form the other elements. And when the star explodes, the star compress and then explode to form a supernova. And the supernova give lots of other elements in explosion. So you should know what is the difference between the life cycle of a star if it is of the size of the sun or greater than size of the sun. Okay. Now, next is satellite. Now, a satellite is an object that revolves around the planet and they can be natural and artificial. Natural is the moon. Artificials are, are the ones required for weather forecasting, monitoring the environment, communication and GPS tracking. Satellites move in a particular orbit around the Earth. The force is a centripetal force which arises due to force of gravity and it is directed at right angle. In the orbits, the satellite speed and the kinetic energy do not change as its speed is the same, but velocity changes due to the change in direction. Okay, now, what is redshift? Now, to understand redshift, it is very important you understand this figure. If the source is moving away from you, you will see that the wavelength of the light is more and it is shifted more towards the red region. And if the source is moving towards you, then the wavelength of the wave will be less and it will be more blue shifted. Now, this phenomenon is a Doppler's effect. It says, when the source is moving away from the observer, the wavelength of the light increases and it is towards the red region of the spectrum. And when the source is moving towards the observer, the wavelength of the light decreases and it moves towards the blue region of the spectrum. The light coming from the stars and from the distant galaxy is redshift. So further the galaxy, greater the redshift, which explains that the universe is expanding. That is that the stars and the components are moving away from you. And this is what was the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory says that the universe was concentrated into one mass, which exploded with a Big Bang and is expanding now as well. There was a story, another, which is opposite to that, which states a steady state theory that universe always existed and it will last forever and the density of the universe will remain constant. Now, there are no evidences for the steady state theory, but we have evidences for the Big Bang Theory. And what are the two evidences for the Big Bang Theory? One is a redshift that we are seeing that the light that is coming from the distant star and galaxy is redshifted. And we see cosmic microwave background radiation. These are the remains of the radiation that comes out from the Big Bang. And scientists have discovered CMB are coming from distant galaxy which supports the Big Bang. And the second evidence is, as I have explained to you, is a redshift that the light coming from the stars and from the distant galaxy is redshift, which means that the galaxy is moving away from you, the universe is expanding. Okay, so hopefully now you have understood the different components of this unit. You should now be able to define solar system, protostar, shooting star, main sequence star, red joint, white dwarf, black dwarf, red superjoint, supernova, neutron star, black hole, centripetal force, redshift, big bang theory, cosmic microwave background radiation, dark matter. I want you to pause this video, have a go with these answers, and then come back and check the answers. All these answers can be found on my website and the link is mentioned in the description box below. As always, the next step is check the specification and do the exam questions on this topic. All can be found on my website. The link is shared in the description box below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to that so that you get notified as soon as I put up a new video. And I'll be putting a lot of helpful and engaging videos before your exams okay so i'll see you next in the next video till then happy revising